Hey everybody, it's Ms. Ladd again, and I'm just going to go through this lecture really quick and easy. So lesson one is let's explore. You can see from the tab in code.org, there's not a lot that's physically there, um, but we're, there's some key concepts that you guys need to know about lists. Uh, every once in a while, you'll hear me call them arrays. Um, Every once in a while, you'll hear me call them arrays, and uh, that's just because that's how I, I learned of them. So in JavaScript, they're called arrays. Um, in other programming languages, they're called lists. I used to have a callback, uh, call and response thing that I did with my JavaScript kids, and that was when I say array, you say list. Array, list, array, list, done, right? Arrays are lists, lists are arrays. Okay, so we've seen this code before where we just have a simple piece of information. Uh, Jose has been stored in the variable my name. Um, but what if we have a lot of names to go through? So that's kind of the problem that we have, and this is why we have tables of data. So <clears throat> you know, here's like a list of weekdays, here's a list of numbers, you know, how would you store these as you know things now? Maybe in a table? So, now they have like these baggy examples and I've kind of been uh, issuing them because uh, last year's group did not want to play around with baggies. And I don't blame them because they were very, it was all kind of very confusing. Um, so the idea though, is that a array holds multiple variables um, by an index. Uh, multiple indexes are indices. So, um, you know, here's our zero. So we've got lunch food as our array or list. And the list of items that we have for lunch food are nachos, pizza, and soup. Um, and you can see zero, one, and two um, because binary. Uh, this is kind of how computers as a general rule um, start with lists being at index zero. All right. So we have three items in this list, but the highest index, as you can see, is two. I'm probably getting ahead of myself. Um, yep, so here we are. Um, your list is made up of elements, right? That's these guys in here. Um, they have an index. This is zero, this is one, this is two, just like we talked about a minute ago. Uh, the length of the list is how many elements it contains. So it contains three items, but the highest index is the list's length minus one because we start counting at zero. All right. So they all get folded up and put into this bigger baggie. So we kind of think of uh, an array or a list as having multiple pieces of data in it, as it does. Okay. So for example, here is a list of two items. One is a string, one is a number. Uh, pizza and the number four. So we can see here we have a, a variable called my list. These two items get stored in my list. So they want you to kind of write out the command uh, that creates the list that you just made. Eh, we're not going to worry about that. Um, I'm hoping that you get the idea. So same thing here. Um, if we access the list by its index, uh, so we would say lunch food, Lunch food zero, for example, is going to get us what value? What do you think? Compare with your friends. So anytime you see square brackets, think list, because then you know, okay, either I'm accessing a particular index of a list, like this one. So I have my numbers two, uh, uh, zero and my numbers two. Uh, so that would be 10 plus 25. What does that evaluate to? Um, oh, sorry. <laughs> uh, 3 plus 20, yes, evaluates to 3, right? Um, oops. Yeah, 35. So 10 plus 25 is 35. I'm 
doing the super loose and fancy free, please ignore my tiny mistakes. Okay, so my list, again, uh, we're going to access the first, uh, not the first indices, but indice one. So that would be this guy right here, number 20. So 10, 20, so 0, 1, 2, right? 0 is 5, uh, 2 is 30. It's going to be what? All right, same thing here. Just kind of going through the process and understanding how things work. All right, so here's my stuff. I have cat twice. Um, my stuff one is fifth uh, is cat. Um, so then that just returns cat. Uh, my stuff zero equals. Oh wait, wait. My stuff one is cat. Yep, and we set the value to cat. Okay, my stuff two is equal to my stuff one. So yep, so cat's going to be cat. Okay, and my stuff zero is equal to three plus ten. Um, so that's going to be three plus ten. I would think that would be thirteen, not fifteen. Um, and then my stuff zero plus my stuff zero uh, is equal to thirty. So yep. So if this was 15, it would be equal to 30. We'll just run with that. You, but see how we've set the value of my stuff 3 to be my stuff 0 plus my stuff 0. If my stuff 0 is 15, 15 plus 15 is 30. OK. Uh, same thing kind of with expressions. Um, on this program and compare your result with another group. You can always just open up the uh, app lab and uh, go to my projects and then um, type this code in here yourself and take a look at it and see how it works. Uh, but I'm going to do a quick run through um, on this. So run this program and compare. So my stuff equals dog, cat, three, and 10. Uh, my stuff, two dash one. So two minus one is one, okay. So that's gonna be my stuff one, which is gonna be cat. We're gonna reset the value to tree. So it's gonna be dog tree three ten. Okay, then my stuff my stuff two three then I guess my stuff equals my stuff zero, which is gonna be dog. Okay. Well, let's see, let's see if I'm right. Uh, dog, tree, three, dog. Okay. Changing your list. So <clears throat> here we can see we can remove an item from the list uh, with the remove item function that uh, code.org has written for, for you. Um, it, in effect, works like the uh, pop um function that is in JavaScript. But uh, because code.org is very careful um, and wants to make sure that everything's safe, we, you know, uh, code.org doesn't give you access to all elements in HTML as they don't give you access to all uh, JavaScript functions as well. So um, that's why we have to sometimes check, okay, will code.org let me write this code like I, I know how? So, um, so move, remove item, my numbers one, actually list and index. Oh, okay. So it's actually working a little differently than pop, but that's okay. Um, so remove item, my number is one. So it's going to find, um, Discuss what the list will contain after line two runs. So I believe it's going to get rid of index one and then index zero. Yes. So that then becomes index zero. Is it removing it from the front or is it just removing? Okay, it's just removing from the index itself. Okay. So var my numbers equals 10. So we have one item in here. 
um, that is a uh, 10, right? It has a value of 10, zero. The index zero has a value of 10. Append item my numbers. So we're going to take the my numbers array and add one to the end. Um, and then same thing with my append, uh, append item my numbers. It's just going to do um, 100 at the very end of it. So that's how that works. Okay, insert item lets you insert an item into the list uh, at a specific index. So um, we have 10 and 50. We insert uh, 1 at the index 1. Um, so between these two guys, we now have 10, 20, and 50. Then if we do insert nouns 1, 100, where do you think that's going to go? And that's how our array looks at the end of that code. Okay. So here we have a list, append item, a list five. So we're gonna that's gonna end up being uh, 20 hat pow five, 20 hat pow ten. Uh, we're gonna remove an item from the first uh, from the indice of one. That's gonna be hat. So 20 pow five ten. And then insert item a list two. So it's going to put it at the second indice. And my brain has lost track. So um, you can always just kind of uh, make a list. So 20, pow, bang, five, and 10. Yep, that's how that's going to look. All right. So same thing here, right? We run this program, compare your results. Uh, what is the length of the list at the end? Um, let's take a look. Let's see what it is. It's four. So there's four items in the list. The length is four. Remember that the last index is minus that length. All right, and that's pretty much all we got going today. So if you have any questions, let me know and happy coding.